what is up eagles welcome back to the second episode of welcome to the nest i'm your host ian lynch um before i start today's segment i do want to give a shout out to clayton pedro for creating the awesome graphic for the segment um but now i'm gonna introduce our guest for this week and this team is our women's soccer team um so yeah just go ahead and introduce yourselves Hey, I'm Mia Krasinski. I'm a goalie. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I'm a bio major. Hi, I'm Megan Gruber. I'm from Long Beach, California. I play defense and I'm doing a master's in health sciences. Mm, my name is Kaisa Lang. I'm from Sweden. I also play defender and my major is communication. The first question is you guys all mentioned you're from out of state. So what was it, walk me through the recruiting process, what was it about FGCU that made you decide you wanted to pack up and head down to South Florida? Um, for me, it was that I actually back in Sweden played together with Tabby Tindell, who played here before. Uh, so she recommended school and I trusted her and I, yeah, I really enjoy it here. Uh, for me, once I got on campus after I was recruited, it was so hard to say no because it's so beautiful here. And when I got on campus, like it felt right and it felt like I, I belong here. So, um, I'm the non-traditional one. I transferred here from JU and I transferred um, just because I had another year of eligibility and wanted to stay like within conference. So yeah. All right. Um, so your, your media team put out there's I think there's around like 16 freshmen on this team. So like there's a lot of youth with this team. Um, do you feel that you guys have more to prove since you guys are so young relatively to other teams in the conference? Like coming in with so many new people, but with new people comes new energy and like new life. And the team, the people who came in are awesome. So I'm sure we're going to do really well. Um, what has the adjustment been playing high school soccer a few months ago to now playing at the collegiate level? Um, back in Sweden, we don't play soccer in high school. We have like club teams. Mm. So it's actually like a yeah, new thing for me to play like in a school team because I never done that before. I just had like, club teams back home. But it's nice to don't have to think about, you know, everything is already fixed with school and soccer and stuff like that. So, yeah, I really like it. It's definitely more intense than high school sports for sure. But the time commitment, the intensity is all worth it because it's such a greater place to be. So, yeah, so JU, I would say it's a much smaller school. So like the mentality, athletics wise, um, they're more focused on like the overall experience and like ensuring that you enjoy your time overall versus here, I feel like we're about winning in like on the field and on, on the classroom. And like, if you aren't like enjoying it, not in a bad way, but like if you're not enjoying it, then maybe it's not the right fit for you. Like. The coaches here really care that like you're having you're having success in the classroom and that you're enjoying yourself and you're not just doing it for the sake of like to keep your parents happy or because you don't want to go through another change. Mm -hmm. Actually, for me, I don't really have to do this, but I like to do this just for mentality wise. But when I step on the field, I step on the field with my right foot first. So like when we do like the walkout, I step out. That's my right foot, so I started off on the right foot. <laughs> I have nothing. Never had anything. No, I'm the same. I, I don't have like any special things. I just like to have a good meal and maybe take a morning walk or something to get going. <laughs> all right. Um, so obviously, um, all games are important. You want to come out and win as many as you can. But were there any when you saw the schedule release that you were like, this is the game? Like, you had it circled right out of the gate. Um, well, for me, I guess it's going to be the Jacksonville schools. Because, like, coming from JU especially, that's, like, the game 
that we like need to win. And then UNF in like undergrad was always our other rival. And I know this year there's, they were like ranked really high. So that those two games for me are definitely like, we need to win those two games. Okay. Yeah, I know. I don't know any school to play. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have, I have no clue. We should just win every game. <laughs> I agree with that. That's that's a good mindset. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. So how this show normally works is I start off with some FGCU related questions, obviously. So that just concluded that part of the segment. So these are more just like fun, get to know you type questions. Um. So for whoever wants to go first, if you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Mm, Swedish pancakes. <laughs> it's just, I always eaten that since I was a kid. So I don't think I'll ever stop. <clears throat> I think maybe like traditional like Mexican, like for home, because I'm from Southern California, like Mexican street um, tacos, like not like the ground meat, but like, sorry, <laughs> the like true like seasoned <laughs> and good tacos, shall I say. Uh, for me, probably like a good Chicago deep dish pizza. I would definitely slam a deep dish pizza every day. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so what is, I mean, obviously you guys are student athletes, um, so I'm sure you don't have that much time for this, but I thought it would, would be a fun question. What is the latest TV show that you guys watched and like, what would you rate it? Does it have to be a current TV show? No, it can be old. Um, then mine would be the originals. <laughs> um, I'd give it maybe like a seven and a half out of 10. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what it, what it's called in English. It's the like the Bridgerton, you know, which one I, what's it called? Yeah, yeah that one. I really like that one. I would give it like maybe eight or nine. And I actually just finished Private Practice, which is like a spinoff of Grey's Anatomy, and I give it like an 8 out of 10. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Okay, and this last question. Um, if there was a movie made about your life, who would you want to play you? Honestly, I feel like Blake Lively. I feel like the blonde hair, I don't know, and she's super pretty. <laughs> I think her. I go with the same thing, I agree with you. <laughs> I can see this. No, I'm kidding. Uh, maybe like Carrie Washington? Okay. I don't know, that's just like the first name, like current actress that I can think of. <laughs> okay. Um, well, once again, thank you for taking the time out of your day to do this, and I wish you guys good luck with the rest of your season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.